Hilary Swank is part of an elite group of Hollywood stars to win two Best Actress Oscars. She took home Academy Awards for playing a transgender man in Boys Don't Cry and a boxer in Million Dollar Baby. And now she's back as an astronaut in a new Netflix drama series called Away. And showbiz editor Nelson Aspen caught up with Hilary. Very jealous of you, Nelson. Another strong role from one of the best actresses of our generation. She's amazing. You know, she said she always wanted to be an actor, but when she was five, she also wanted to be an astronaut. So this series lets her touch on that childhood dream. The only thing I've ever known for sure in my life is that I wanted to be on the first mission to Mars. It's only three years. Okay, I guess I'll miss you. I'll be right back. From the creator of Parenthood and Friday Night Lights, comes a new drama series on an epic scale. Hilary Swank stars in Away as an American astronaut leading an international crew on a journey into space. I miss 20 million miles from the people she loves. She needs to know that her family's taken care of. I got a cover, do you? They need me more than anyone and I'm not there. You think you'll do Congratulations to you both. Hilary, let me start with you. Emma, is just another in your long list of very interesting choices. Why did you want to portray Emma? Oh, first of all, thank you for your, your um, congratulations. It's we love this show and we're so happy to be part of it. And it's nice to be here. Um, I, um, you know, it was really a no brainer. I mean, across the board, I read the script and I thought, wow, we have all these different races that we're representing. Um, we have this woman who's the commander of this, this mission to Mars, and that's not the drama of the story. <laughs> um, we have this beautiful family that's being shaped um, in the uh, astronauts on that mission while also kind of being tethered really by the, the love of a family that's being left behind. And like, how do you balance both of those things? I think it's a beautiful love story between a mother and a daughter. And, uh, and um, yeah, so I just think it kind of encapsulates so many things that we're also experiencing randomly right now with isolation. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so um, it's, it's time. But you've got your bird with you. I've, I've, I've watched you on Instagram. I follow you on Instagram, so I know about the bird. And, and I know you can about hear him right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's okay to hear it. We just have to acknowledge what it is. Uh, and I also watch your amazing workouts on Instagram. So I wondered if there was any particular uh, physical preparation you had to make for this. Yeah, so we had to pretend, obviously, sorry, spoiler alert, we're not really in <laughs> zero G. Um, and we had to like, act like we were. And so we had these harnesses that were put um, on our hips and the lowest part of our hips that we had to like squeeze our glutes to move forward and squeeze our abs to move backwards. And it was Core. a lot, yeah, full on, full on workout that we had to, that took a lot of effort that we had to make look effortless. And, um, you know, I just could say thank you to the, the team that was like having us on these wires and the editor who made us, you know, cut out all the calls in between. And Talitha, a lot of your scenes with Hillary, uh, she's in space and you're on Earth, and yet you're having these very intimate moments. What was the trick to, uh, to, to making those so personal and so believable? Um, the trick, I would say that would be to work with an incredible actress, and there you go. Um, no, really. I, I guess that honestly is it in so many ways. You can have a really brilliantly written scene and still it can fall flat if you don't have the right people working as a, with you. Um, and Hillary obviously is very talented and it just, I think it was effortless, like honestly working with her and it just made it easy for me and, and to form this bond and have this relationship that I'm glad played well on camera. Um, but yeah, and a lot of it was very real because we were actually there with, without actually being able to touch each other. We were mm -hmm. actually on camera as if we are now. And it was through FaceTime and, and they actually did it correctly. And I, I had, I've spoken about this before, but um, normally uh, famous actors or whatever, like people with great bodies of work don't always want to be there for other actor scenes. 
And I've worked with some people who won't, and it's kind of disappointing because you won't give as much of an authentic performance and you won't be able to really be there with them. And so it'll be very different from how you would have done it normally. And then, and Hillary was there every single time without fail. And I don't know if we were always filming her, even her, and she was still there and prepared to call if I needed her. And it was just, it was really, really cool. And it was something I appreciated from her. Yeah. Just it seems to be a common thread, Hillary, with, the, with your castmates that they, uh, you were not just playing the commander of the mission, but you were the leader of this ensemble and you cared about everybody. It wasn't, it was not a star vehicle, so to speak. So yeah. your, your castmates, I'm sure they've told you privately, really appreciated that. Question, would you, nowadays it's hard to even go to the supermarket without a hazmat suit on. Would you go to space? Would you ever consider going to space? I would, uh, but yeah. not all the way to Mars. I mean, <laughs> I would go to the moon. Um, you have your limits. Yeah, yeah, not three years worth of a journey. All right, well, when all of this dust settles, how about just start with coming back down under? We do Australia and start there, all right? <laughs> I love Australia. All right, well, forget Mars. We'll see you back in Australia. Okay, deal. All right, congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Ray, I'll start with you. Um, I grew up on shows like Lost in Space and Star Trek, so I, I always sort of had the fantasy in, in childhood of being part of a crew that would take an adventure mm. like this. Did it feel that way? I'm, I'm hoping and assuming. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, first of all, well, it felt like um, we were creating this sort of family unit on screen, but we were also very much creating it off screen as well and sort of how, how the different dynamics played in both and. Yeah, it very much felt like that. And I think that all really stems from the top and it stems from our incredible fearless leader, Hilary Swank, who is just the most amazing, generous, giving actor and um, just such a supportive, wonderful person. And like Ato mentioned, she is everything you expect her to be. And um, and and so, yeah, it all stemmed from her and, it, and, and we created this beautiful unit. Otto, you, you were nodding your head when Ray was referring to Hillary as our fearless leader. Uh, yeah. Tell me about that, aside from the fact that she's, uh, you know, an Oscar winning star that we, you know, probably are tuning in. She has that yeah. name value. Why, why did you consider her your leader? Uh, well, because, you know, any kind of group where uh, there's sort of a pecking order of anything, um, I think the group lives or dies by the, the person in charge or the leader. Um, and if you have a really bad leader, everything is going to fall apart and it's going to be miserable, especially if you are in a show where you're hanging from wires sort of painfully for hours at a time. Um, but Hillary is, like Ray said, the most giving actor that I've worked with. And I've worked with some really incredible actors, um, so much so that she almost cares more about your scene than her own scene. She'll stop a uh, take to make sure Ray's in his right light or that you can hear me or I'm getting the good side of my face or whatever. Um, and because she cares not only about you as the actor, but the story. Um, and that makes you as the actor free to sort of arrive with what you have because you're confident that your leader will accept it and help you grow. And so I, I owe a lot to Hilary Swank. I, she's incredible. It has, of course, the scope of, of a science fiction uh, program. You're going into space. We're seeing a certain amount of special effects, but it really also is a very intimate uh, actor's piece. Ray, right. would, would you say that's an accurate description? Did it feel like that to you as an actor? You weren't just absolutely. in front of green screens the whole time, were you? No, absolutely. And I think when I first received the initial scripts, um, and I'm not particularly a huge fan of science fiction, but I was so pleasantly surprised opening this up because this was a character driven intimate drama relationship drama and it was taking these ordinary people well they're not ordinary in their job but they are ordinary people in their lives and you were putting them into this extraordinary setting and taking the ordinary into the extraordinary and and for me that is the best kind of filmmaking and so we were it, it was what really really I think is, is what will end up moving people about this is that it is a character driven, intimate relationship drama set in space. I mean, it just ticks many, many boxes. I was trying to think of what genre I would call it and I came up with space opera. 
instead of a soap <laughs> opera, I'd call it a space opera. Now, sure. Otto, these days in, in, in the pandemic, I, I can't even fathom going on the subway. Yeah. Would you go into space? <laughs> That's a very different question than it would have been six months ago. Would you go to space? Yes, I, I think it'll be a little easier now to go into space because I'm used <laughs> to sort of being in my apartment, which is probably as big as the Atlas is in reality. Um, would I go into space for a long time? No. It, now that I know how hard it is, no way. But for a, a good weekend on the moon, no problem. I'll bring <laughs> some, records some records and we'll have a good time. The moon's got it all over on Bali or Palm Springs or oh, anything yeah. like that. Well, yeah. congratulations to you guys. It's so much fun. I'm very excited to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. All right. When you received the script, were you surprised? I mean, this is not really just a, a, a sci-fi movie. It's not an outer space movie. It's a, it's a real dramatic story. That's why when I read the script, um, I was really, really thrilled and I was very, very excited about the story. And um, it um, appears like a space show. Uh, we will get the chance to wear those very cool looking <laughs> Space suits, um, but at core, at core, at um, its heart, it, it is really a workplace drama and a family drama. So, um, all the dynamics and the multi layers of all these characters really, really was fantastic. I mean, I had such fun to play this blue, um, which normally you don't get to see very often on screen. So it's so against the stereotype and then just so well written. Um, really, really a great opportunity for me. And Vi uh, Vivian refers to this as a family drama. Mark, did you feel by the time you finished shooting that you, your ensemble had formed a bit of a family? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's, it's a long time. Six months is a long time. Uh, there's a lot happening. There's, uh, there's uh, you know, life imitating fiction and, and it multiplies because you are in, uh, in a studio most of the day and then uh, you go through uh, some, some, some things you don't even notice, but they affect your own family and your own life. And then just hindsight, you realize, oh, I feel this way or I'm anxious because something that was shot today in a scene and it kind of reflects on what you do. Uh, but we were extremely lucky to have this group of people that very quickly came together. We were very supportive of each other on one hand. On the other hand, we, we were making fun of each other constantly, especially Vivian and I, but no, everyone, <laughs> everyone else we were, we were making, uh, you know, jokes and, uh, um, and supporting each other when, when, when there were like tougher spots, which sometimes came. Uh, yeah, I, I think this, the, the, there was, there was a very healthy parallel between building a family. And I think in the end, and I'm not going to get spoilers, but I think at episode nine or 10, there's a place where all of us were shooting a scene all together on the spaceship. And <laughs> At the end of it, we were all almost in tears because it had the feeling that we formed a family. You can do a reunion. We can, we'll figure out a sequel somewhere along the lines. Oh, okay. Vivian, we can't, we can't even go to the supermarket now without putting on hazmat suits and, and all sorts of coverings and disinfectants. That, with that in mind, would you go to space if the opportunity existed for you to travel to outer space? I know that planet Earth right now, um, we humans are encountering some difficulty right now. Um, it's, <laughs> that's why I, I think Netflix, this show away comes at such a, a great timing that um, I think the message behind it would somehow be very inspiring to all of us. Um, and um, Although I know it's difficult, um, I'm just staying home to be safe. And, um, and I know if I ever want to, or if I have to go to the supermarket, <laughs> I have to be really wearing those masks and then all the gears. I still love Earth and I still love, I think it'll pass. And um, 
I'm, I, I am hopeful. I'm really hopeful. And then I think the message really of this show um, truly is about um, we have to be in unity regardless of our backgrounds and then our history and let's work together um, and accomplish some mission. And well, do we've all got to, good. Yes. Yes. And if we all have to stay home a while longer, it looks like the both of you are set for reading material. Plenty of books <laughs> on yourselves to read. Get reading and congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Stay safe. Away premieres on Netflix September 4th. That looks absolutely fantastic. Thanks so much for that, Nelson.